Thank you. A new proposal could provide funding to give bulletproof vests to law enforcement officers across Louisiana. Let's get to our Lester Dewey now with more on this. Lester. Elizabeth State Rep Rick Edmonds says he got the idea for House Bill 442 after that terrible Sunday back in 2016. He tried to bring this legislation up during COVID, but the finances were just not there. And now he believes lawmakers have a path to make these bulletproof vests a reality. What's in place to protect the heroes who serve us every day? Even if someone does a terrible thing by taking a shot at an officer, at least they have a more than adequate chance of survival. State Rep Rick Edmonds has filed a bill which would establish a fund of roughly 8.5 million bucks to provide a critical resource to those who protect and serve us. And the idea is that whether it's a village or whether it's a township or whether it's a metropolitan area, uh, any particular peace officer that doesn't have a protective vest, we want every peace officer to have that protective vest. The way they built these things, they're on your shoulder. The way Central Police just received new angel armor vest about a year ago after applying for a grant. I'm all about safety and, you know, my guys, it sends one home, one home at the end of the day, they paid for themselves. But these state-of-the-art bulletproof vests with all the bells and whistles have a hefty price tag that some agencies just can't afford. Chief Corcoran believes these bulletproof vests could be a game changer for smaller police departments throughout the state. They have departments that have one, two, three, four, five people and they might have maybe a $10,000 budget for the year. Well, just one of these vests are 2,500. It's a big game changer. You know, with, with the people out there wanting to defund the police, this is your safety. These are your protectors, and without these protectors out there with this type of equipment, they're not protected themselves. We'll work hard on it. Our, um, our colleagues, I know they're, they're pro-law enforcement. They want to do the right thing to help our law enforcement officials, and so I feel really good about it. I appreciate you bringing us on today to chat about it because I know you guys are always uh, very helpful to try to help us get the message out. So I'm told the funds would be monitored by the Louisiana Commission on Law Enforcement. There's still no word on the timetable as to when every officer in the state could receive one of those vests. Elizabeth. All right, Lester, thank you.